Generally speaking, the internet is a pretty hostile place. 99% of the time, folks online don't have anything nice to say. And when it comes to you guys, you're always reminding me of how I'm going bald and saying that I'm wearing red lipstick, which I promise you I'm not, but I do look weird. I'll agree with you on that. Look at the top of his head. Now, my personal gripes aside, what keeps me coming back to the internet are these rare precious moments where a group of internet oddballs will come together and perpetrate some extremely wholesome act that's both simultaneously heartwarming and hilarious. One of these moments happened recently when a Facebook group consisting of rascally trolls learned of a Facebook market post where a man was selling all of his power tools in a desperate attempt to raise money to fund a liver transplant that he would need to survive. Saddened by the dire circumstances facing this man, this troll group would temporarily pivot from their mischievous ways and work together to try to make this liver transplant a reality. This is the story of the Facebook meme page that helped a man out with getting a new liver. To set the stage for this wholesome tale, we must first enter the wild world of Facebook. Facebook is a platform that's often panned by millennials as being this irrelevant website that no one actually uses. But boomers love this place and actually update their timelines very frequently these days. And while a majority of your daily timeline updaters tend to be up in age, younger, more meme-savvy internet users still flock to the site for its robust selection of dank meme community pages. Now, one of these bustling millennial and Gen Z-filled Facebook communities is a boomer satire slash role-playing group known as a car club where everyone acts like boomers. This group and their actions will be the focus of today's story. Now this group's name sort of spells out what they do, but basically these guys look for cringe or ridiculous Facebook posts uploaded by boomers, then they share these posts to their group and well, the group members go in the comments and act like boomers themselves, sort of making fun of the posts. Here's an example of their work. Some guy on the page found this half-naked boomer cranking his hog on the highway and shared the sighting to the car club. The community members were responded accordingly. I could crank my hog to that. He's gonna get real hurt when he rides over those goddamn grass clippings. Goddamn millennials don't understand. I drank from the hose. I don't need no gear. My grandson told me you only YOLO once. I don't know what that means, but God bless. That's pretty much the community in a nutshell. They find weird boomer posts, act like boomers in the comments, satirically supporting it, but actually almost like unironically supporting it in a weird way. Normally it's all jokes with these guys, but in May of 2021, they would stumble across a boomer post that instead of drawing ridicule, caused some serious positive action to come from this group. In May, Pennsylvanian Facebook user Gary Ryder posted this to the Facebook marketplace. Air compressor towards liver transplant. Older air compressor, working as it should. I need a liver transplant, proceeds go towards it. Gary, and he gives his phone number. Okay. A Facebook user who happened to be in the car club noticed Gary's post and shared it to the page. And instead of the typical peanut gallery antics, members of the club seemed genuinely concerned for this Gary Ryder fellow and wanted to know more about his need for a liver transplant. And it turns out the man was in a pretty tough spot. Gary, 57 years old at the time of the post, had been disabled since the late 2000s after the right side of his body was crushed by a bobcat loader at his welding job. He was hospitalized for some time and it took him two years to be able to walk again, requiring supportive devices to do so. The injury left Gary with long-term chronic pain that he would take pain medication in order to manage. Eventually, Gary's health would decline further when he developed hepatic fibrosis, a condition where the liver's ability to metabolize and filter is inhibited by a buildup of excessive connective tissue and scarring. In a statement to Jalopnik.com, Gary said he was told the condition developed as a result of him passively inhaling toxic welding fumes over time at his job, also stating that his pain medications may have exacerbated the condition as well. Regardless, the bottom line was doctors told Gary he was going to need a new liver, and his family didn't have the money for this liver transplant, hence why he was selling this air compressor on Facebook Marketplace. Now, the usual unserious and trollish folks over in the car club that act like boomers, they were genuinely saddened by Gary's predicament and wanted to help him out. 
It would be a cold day in hell before these guys let a man sell his air compressor just so he could survive. They wanted to make it easier for him. So they got to work looking for ways to help, and not long after, it would be discovered that Gary Ryder's daughter had created a GoFundMe page in the hopes of raising funding for Gary's transplant. Help Gary Ryder get a new liver. We are trying to raise money to help our father pay for a liver transplant. He's a caring guy who helps everyone he can. The GoFundMe was started back in March and had practically no donations, but that would change in short time. After this GoFundMe was discovered by the car club, they started leaving donation after donation in the hopes of leaving this man with some life-saving cash. And of course, they left a plethora of messages role-playing as car enthusiast boomers while doing it. Get yourself a souped-up liver, Gary. God bless you. Keep that compressor singing. God bless. God bless you, Gary. Just saw the pic of your compressor. Very fancy. Keep that darn thing and get yourself a new liver. God bless. Hell yeah, brother. We'll have that hog cranked again in no time. God bless. Keep on trucking, brother. God bless. Give them hell, Gary. Here's to you and your fam. Gary, you've got the support of some bad to the bone truckers who give no dams and shits. God bless and keep on trucking. Hell yeah, brother. You keep that air compressor and go get that transplant. And these guys just kept it up. Over the span of about a week, the people from the car club where everyone acts like boomers had managed to raise an eye-popping $58,056 for Gary's medical bills. And the only reason that the amount isn't any higher is because Gary had his daughter shut down the GoFundMe because he felt the amount raised was more than he needed. NPR has reported that Gary's transplant would cost around 40000 meaning 58 k would certainly do the trick. After the massive donation wave and donations were disabled from the GoFundMe, Adriana had this to say in regards to the support shown towards her dad. So dad has requested that donations be shut off because he has raised more than what he needed and feels grateful to everyone who has donated and made him reach his goal. So the donations have been turned off as of tonight. Thank you from my dad and us kids to everyone that has donated. You have helped give my dad more memories with our family, and we greatly appreciate every single one of you. God bless. Gary, on the other hand, had a more humorous response to all the hubbub surrounding his liver. He says, as of now, this is the best air compressor on earth. I love y'all for your support. Needless to say, Gary didn't have to sell his air compressor, which was a big W for everyone involved. That said, Gary isn't out of the woods just yet. While he does have this money now, he still doesn't have a donor for the transplant. According to updates from Adriana and Gary himself, there are multiple people from Gary's family that are being tested as potential donors coming up in the month of July. It is possible that doctors could find a match and essentially be able to transplant a graft of liver tissue from a healthy person to Gary. And if successful, the transplanted healthy tissue would help get things back running smoothly again. But if that doesn't work, Gary will most likely need to get a full liver transplant from a deceased donor, which is a bit more difficult to come by and is obviously much more of an undertaking. So only half the battle has been won now, and the other half will indeed be a challenge. Yes, it's good that Gary has this life-saving cash on hand, but he's still got a ways to go. If you guys want to keep tabs on Gary's liver transplant progress, follow the Help Gary Get a Liver Facebook page. The link is in the description. You'll find find that Gary and his family post updates here, and if you're invested in this story, definitely check out the page. I wish Gary and his family the best of luck. But that was the story of how a Facebook community known for picking on boomers actually came together and rallied behind a boomer who was in a tough spot. Literally providing life-saving cash that could fund a liver transplant once a match has been found for this man. So to the folks in the car club where everyone acts like boomers, I salute you and God bless. If you guys want to check out another wholesome internet tale, check out my video about the time 4chan orchestrated a birthday party for a World War II veteran. Make sure you slap a like on the video, hit the notification bell, and let me know who or what you want me to talk about next. I want to give a major shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace.